Hello and welcome to one more lecture on informatics. We have already discussed most of the topics in the module on networking. We have three topics remaining in this chapter. Now they are wikis, online chat and social networking. So let us begin the discussion with wikis. Wiki is a word that we are all too familiar with as large scale users of Wikipedia. Probably the number one website that everyone in the world resorts to to gather information. Now, Wikipedia is different from other encyclopedias because it is um, a program that we can edit or contribute to and that precisely is what a wiki is. A wiki is a collaborative tool. It is basically a kind of a program, a server program that enables us to uh, engage collaboratively in the creation of a website and the addition of content to that website. So a wiki would be basically a kind of web page with a hypertext and an open editing system. This is what enables users to get together as a team and collaborate in the creation of uh, new sites and new information. Uh, we need to know something about the origin of this term wiki. It, you know, the term, uh, the, it, the first wiki application was created by a person named Ward Cunningham in the year 1994. And when he was uh, launching this um, program where people could get together and work as a team to create content, he decided to use a term that he had picked up in Hawaii. While he was there on holiday, it is said that he heard somebody uh, in the airport uh, suggesting to him, why don't you get into the wiki wiki bus? You know, the wiki, the word wiki me in Hawaiian in the Hawaiian language means uh, quick or fast. And that precisely is what he wanted to convey through this portal. With the collaborative effort of many people, it becomes a fast venture. You know, uh, the content creation becomes faster. So that is how the wiki wiki was launched by Ward Cunningham in 1994, the WikiWiki Wiki web. And today, because of the wide popularity of this kind of collaborative tool, uh, Wiki is often expanded as what I know is, W-I-K-I, what I know is. You know, this is a typical example of a backronym. An acronym is one where you have um, a bigger word being condensed to a shorter form. Uh, for example, the United States of America becomes USA. That is an example of an acronym. acronym. In a bactronym, what you have is a smaller word gets expanded to uh, newer definitions. And that is how wiki, because of its ability to, uh, to, to, to accept the knowledge that each individual has you know that is why it is called what i know is what you know is very important as you use wikis in order to create new content so that is about wikis so wikis are uh, powered by a software known as wiki engines and some of these wiki engines are open source some are proprietary and I think the best um, example of uh, content that has been developed using the wiki uh, software would be the Wikipedia Encyclopedia, uh, the most popular Wikipedia, wiki-based website, which has this uh, you know, provision for addition, additional information from the users. You must have seen the pen icon on Wikipedia pages, which enables you to add content. Of course, it, it does not immediately get displayed on the web page. It will be um, analyzed by a team of experts and only then 
if it uh, is permissible or if it is acceptable for publication on the internet, it will be added to that web particular site. So that is how the Wikipedia encyclopedia works. And Wikipedia is not just a single wiki, you know, it's a collection of hundreds of wikis like Wikimedia, Wikipedia, uh, Wikimaps and Wikimusic and so, so, such a lot, you know, there's a lot of multimedia content that is added to Wikipedia with the help of uh, wikis, these um, collaborative tools. And apart from Wikipedia, there are so many more other wikis in use, both in the public and private sphere. Anyway, uh, wiki is an important tool that uh, opens up many, many opportunities for those who are looking to create content for the web. From wikis, let us now move to online chat, which is basically nothing but communication over the internet, real-time online transmission of messages. That is what online chat is. Uh, it goes without saying that online chat may be between, uh, maybe from point to point, that is between two users, or it may be a multicast online chat where one um, sender can communicate with a group or many uh, receivers and uh, it can be in the form of text messages, voice messages, video chats, or it can even be the feature of a web conferencing service like the one that we are currently engaged in. We need to know a little bit about the history of this facility, one of the most popular of all facilities available on the net. Uh, it was actually somewhere around the year uh, 1973 that it was developed, the first online chat system. It was called Tokomatic and it was created in the University of Illinois by the team of Doug Brown and David R. Woolley. Just as ARPANET was developed basically for the purpose of defense and then it caught on uh, and became you know, uh, very, very popular. Uh, similarly, this uh, chat system was initially introduced for a very academic purpose, but then the popularity soon spread to other areas and now there is really no looking back at all. And we say that, you know, these chat messages are so popular because it's like the virtual uh, uh, form, virtual, uh, you know, form of a spoken conversation. Uh, that is what is, the re that's the reason for the great popularity of online chats. And online chats are basically of two uh, types. You know, the first was the internet relay chat, what is known as the IRC, which involves real-time internet text messaging in chat rooms or channels. You know, it was in specific um, groups that the communication would take place, and that is what is known as internet relay chat. It's a kind of forum where many people connect with each other, and they discuss um, their interests, uh, basically on a particular mess, uh, topic or on a particular uh, area or subject of interest. So that is what the chat room uh, is, you know, uh, characterized by. It is a channel or a room or a space which brings together many users who correspond with each other and every one of the users in that chat room or in that channel will be able to see the messages, uh, the text messages, can, um, uh, sent by every other user irrespective of whether they are uh, involved at the uh, whether, whether they are present in the chat room at the time that the message was being sent uh, so that is about the internet relay chat uh, um, a consequent development was that of instant messaging where you, it initially began as a kind of one-to-one -one con uh, conversation or chat between two individuals. The, uh, you know, it, it does not involve a chat room or a specific channel devoted to a group of people. Here you have, it initially began as a one-to-one -one messaging uh, facility. Uh, and uh, gradually, you know, it became much more developed. And today, uh, I think some of the most favored messaging services like WhatsApp, can be considered as an extension of the initial text messaging facility. 
So just as it is important to observe certain codes of conduct when we are online and what we discussed as netiquette, it is also important to, um, you know, observe certain uh, rules, certain conventions, guidelines when we engage in chats. Uh, chats may be considered as very informal, but they are not always informal. They can be formal too. But whether it is in an informal or a formal context, it is always better to, you know, observe certain conventions. Because uh, because of the wide popularity of chats today, uh, you are aware of how significant they are. You know, they are taken as evidence of a person's stand, a person's, uh, you know, the, uh, of a person's views and so on. It has as much validity today, a voice message or a text message has as much validity as a document, you know, would have had in the past. So that is the importance of chat messages today in a world that is, you know, uh, shifting towards these modes of electronic communication. And therefore, it's very important for us to observe certain conventions and guidelines where we need to be uh, careful about propriety, about, um, you know, observing uh, general basic courtesy. And as it happens in emails, we uh, hear, we suggest that, you know, it is suggested that we avoid uppercase typing because it appears as if the user is shouting. Generally, the language that is to be used um, should be of a certain uh, level of um, refinement. It should not be, you know, too uh, informal in the sense that it involves a lot of slang and it involves a lot of unparliamentary and uh, you know racist and uh, very misogynist kind of uh, statements. I, I think it's very important to um, observe propriety when we engage in chat, whether it is internet relay chat or instant messaging. And finally we come to social networking. Currently uh, probably the most um, widely uh, accepted and popular and favored means of networking. Social networking is nothing but the use of websites and other internet services to communicate and share information with others. So what social networking enables us to do is to stay connected with family, with friends, with colleagues, with customers, with clients. So we realize that social networking is something that can move from uh, a very informal kind of um, coming together or networking to extremely formal ones. You know, it can have a social purpose or it can have a business purpose or it may be both. And it is basically through channels like... Um, or facilities or programs like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Telegram, Instagram and many others that we uh, become part of this social networking. Well, social networking is a topic on which I'm sure you have more to tell me than what I could tell you. In any case, I hope uh, you make uh, very good use of your facilities for social networking. Remember, social networking is not something that you should be engaging in just to while away your time. It is something that can be used as a platform where you can make yourself heard. It is your own space and that is where you can express your opinions, your views and make a statement. You can be heard on a social media platform in a way that you will not be heard anywhere else. Uh, so that is the kind of um, uh, empowerment that social networking uh, gives you. And I really hope that each one of you will make use of that power and uh, advance your own prospects as students and as uh, career women. Uh, well, when you uh, write about uh, social networking, which is of course something that you would have to do since you have an exam to write, uh, remember to highlight the features of social networking, define this, uh, this concept of social networking, uh, uh, mention its features, 
then uh, talk a bit about its history, its beginnings, and and then highlight the advantages and the disadvantages of social networking. As with all the other topics that we have discussed in this module on networking, social networking too comes with its pros and its cons. And it is awareness that counts the most. In any case, I'll leave you here with a link to an essay, which I think gives you a very good introduction to this whole concept of social networking and discusses these four points related to this activity. <laughs>